afternoon everybody it's thursday today and today i thought i'd start my vlog i was supposed to be starting tomorrow but i thought why not let's just start today happy thursday it's a good day because it's thursday and today i thought i would have a bit of a clear out with you i am going to continue the vlog tomorrow and we've got a few little things going on but today i thought that'd be quite fun that'd be quite nice we could do like a throw charity keep piles i think it'll be quite fun i mean i really really do need to have a clear out i feel like i've kind of forgotten what is in my winter wardrobe because it's kind of pushed quite far back in my wardrobe also my wardrobes are just a little bit full and i feel like i just don't need it all and we can just have a bit of a throw i'm thinking so i'm gonna start here with this wardrobe is mainly dresses, jumpsuits, and like big woolly jumpers. I'm very excited to rediscover my woolly jumpers. It's so crammed in there, I just don't even know what jumpers are in there. And there's one jumper I tried to find the other day and I couldn't find it, so I'm hoping in this clear out we'll discover the missing jumper. So, and we can have some little reminiscing of when they were aware. I feel like there's lots of jumpers in there that remind me of Christmas, so I'm excited. So, I think I'm going to pop you. Shall we go there? The light's a bit nicer there, isn't it? Blue's over there, she's my little sidekick of the day. Pop, unfortunately, Pop is not very well today. And I do need to take her to the vet soon, so I'm gonna try and get through as much as I can quickly. But she actually came in last night. Actually, it was this morning. We, we couldn't find her this morning. And usually she sleeps on our bed. Pop is my cat, by the way. And Poppy tends to go out in the night. And it does worry us. But we don't want to keep her in because that is when cats like to go out a lot, isn't it? In the night time. But this morning when we found her, she was in Niall's wardrobe hiding because she seems to have been attacked. And her ears kind of got blood in it and... Um, her face is a little bit puffy and she just seems very quiet it's really sad actually i don't want to talk about it too much but um i am going to take her to the vet in a bit i will show you her she doesn't look like awful but i just know i know my pop and she's not she's not sass pop poppy today and it's really making me sad and i never thought i'd say that because she can be a sassy one but anyway that's what i'm gonna do a little bit but let's get started on the wardrobe so at the bottom of the wardrobe as well we have like heels and boots so i want to rediscover them and try and work out what should stay what should go what should go to charity possibly a depot pile too actually didn't even think of that let's do a depot pile that'll be good so let's start with should we start with a jumper i'm just a talking trouser right now <laughs> i'm gonna try and get going on this. let's start with the dresses and jumpsuit so this one is like an orangey play suit Definitely want to keep that. I literally love that little jumpsuit, play suit so much. It's the cutest. This, I actually really like. This is a little in the style jumpsuit. I wore this quite a lot last winter. It's a very kind of wintry vibe jumpsuit, although it could slightly be a summer. This is a good wedded outfit, actually. I rather like it. I think we shall be keeping him. I am so excited to wear this little play suit though, I just gotta tell you. I don't know if you saw it in my pretty little thing haul. It's got a very chic, but a little bit spicy play suit vibe. It's kind of disco-esque, but it's got a really nice open back, so I feel like it's got that chic edge. Very excited to wear that when I have the place to go. I am also so excited to wear, this is that Urban Outfitters dress I recently bought, if you saw that come shopping with me video. I am obsessed. This has such a nice back. It's a cross back and it just, it's a very fitted but very long dress. They're my favourite kinds and it's a sparkly. So, in the winter, in Vlogmas, it's gonna be out and about. This, I don't know if you remember this one, this actually, Niall picked me on my boyfriend does my ASOS shop and it was a very good find to be fair. I didn't keep much of what he picked. But this one, it's just got an elegance to it. The back is lovely. It doesn't look great off. It looks quite potato sack-esque. But in all honesty, I wouldn't have picked it if it wasn't for Niall. So, you know, sometimes you've got to get your boyfriend to buy your ASOS shop. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you remember this one. I've also got it in silver, I think. These are the greatest 
wintry outfit ever and you just literally sparkle like a disco ball from pretty little thing as well sorry this is all pretty little things so far but um i also have it in silver and i bet they will bring out another one this winter i wore the silver one last last vlog bus it was don't know if you remember that here we are we got two <laughs> I'm obsessed with them, so I think they're gonna have to stay because they will be making reappearances in this Vlogmas. Right, let's get onto these jumpers. This one takes me back to Christmas Day. I wore this on Christmas Day. Look how pretty these little sequins are on it. I am obsessed. This one was from Zara last year. It is very pretty. The only thing I find with it though is this neckline is a little bit get your boob out, you know? I mean, I often wear it kind of on my shoulder. Often, I wear it on Christmas Day only. <laughs> but I did wear it on my shoulder. I just remember thinking my boobs coming out the whole day, but it's still pretty, so it's worth it. This is the jumper I was looking for. I don't know if you remember this one. I wore this so much last winter. This one is from ASOS. And it's just a really big old baggy, and I feel like a bit of a sweet when I wear it. A bit of a sweetest. Here is the rainbow top that made me fall in love with rainbow clothes. So if you remember this, but actually this isn't that old. I think Pretty Little Thing still has it on their site. But I just think it is so cute and so bright. I know some people will hate it, but I love it. And it's got a little frilly sleeve. It is the cutest. What do you reckon, Blue? Love. This was my favourite airport jumper. Be kind. This one's from Topshop. I literally love this. I bought this in a medium actually because I wanted it to be quite oversized and I just think it is so lovely. It's actually from the New Girl Order range that Topshop recently put on their website but it was just my favourite summer travelling outfit. Good old aeroplane outfit, you know, one of them. This, actually, I just want to quickly tell you because I've had a lot of questions with, within my vlogs about this old jumper. So this is a jumper from Zara, but it was last year. I've worn it a lot in my videos recently. It is lovely. However, I don't know if they have it in this year. It's a very simple jumper, though, so I'm sure you can find one similar somewhere. But it is lovely. It's just one of those big old coes, get your coes on kind of jumpers, isn't it? This one as well, I've had some questions about on Instagram. I recently bought it from Pretty Little Thing and I don't know if it sold out really fast but I couldn't find it when I posted it on my story to link it for people who wanted to get it. But yeah, it's from Pretty Little Thing. It's quite new. I only bought it about two, two weeks ago I think but it's very cosy and it's a big old oversized jumper. Woolly love. Right, sorry, I just had to have a little bit of a phone call. I'm back now, and I have mainly done, I've done most of the clothes in this wardrobe, so I've got kind of the jumpers, the jumpsuits, the dresses, I'm really close. <laughs> and the, yeah, that's about it, all done from this wardrobe. So <laughs> we have a rather large keep pile, and we have, actually it's not too bad, this, I need to split this pile into, um, into charity and depop so if i do put anything on depop it probably won't be on depop when this video goes up but i'll leave my depop name in the description box ready for when i do put it up now we have a couple of shoes let's have a little look should i put, put you here we'll go have a up close and personal shoe talk <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna work so i'm gonna have to do it like this so we have my new sock boots so when i was talking about these i got these recently from asos i love them they're kind of like a really nice height i like how it's a bit of a pointed toe got a sock and a bit of a kind of it's a solid heel i need a solid heel because i'm not a heel gal this is so awkward <laughs> but i love these for kind of like an everyday boot and they go really nice with dresses and things like that when you're really winterifying up the the look you know but these were the ones that I had last year, and I love them as well. So they, they actually look very, very similar. <laughs> there is quite a lot of material kind of coming off. And, yeah, it's just all a bit ripped. It's all coming off. I love them so much, but I just think... Also, I really like how this one is more of a pointed toe. If you see the difference, I think they're a bit more chic. I'm loving them. So I think these will be going to charity. But I, they did get a very good wear, so it's okay. Then, we've got these ones, which I think are also going to go to charity or Depop, actually, because they are a little bit too high for me. <laughs> I put these on the other day and fell on it in a puddle. Not good. 
and these are my new pretty little thing boots absolutely love them love red I feel like red boots are a really nice boot staple boot to have in the winter for like that special day when you want to have a bit of a special foot these do you know what these i find extremely uncomfortable personally i don't know what it is but they are just either not the right size for me i don't know they're from top shop a while ago and i've just barely worn them i think i might depop these if anyone wants like a chunky trainer these are a bit fab i mean they've got a really nice little pink and yellow patchiness but they just didn't suit my feet right i've got quite quite wide chubby feet and i think they just weren't quite right so i think they shall be depopping these now these are i feel like they're not as good of a version of these they got a very good wear either way anyway but yeah i'm not massive on this late is it latex i went through this in a in a haul recently lycra latex can't remember i don't like the shiny material in all honesty i think it looks quite cheap so i think these might be going to charity these are my lovely yellow boots <laughs> i don't think i've worn them much on my videos but i love them they're kind of like in between they're a perfect autumn boot oh my gosh i just realized <laughs> that was such a dramatic this is so weird because you can't see my face <laughs> it's like a talking shoe but they're kind of transitional aren't they because you got your heel out but you haven't got your toe out and then you got a bit of a autumny yellow and then if you pop some like autumn clothing colors with it You'd be a walking like you'd be like a walking leaf if you wore brown and green. <laughs> I don't know. I'm keeping them though. I like them. And we have my lovely, lovely sliders. They are not going to come in handy for a while, but I'm 100% keeping them. These are from a designer called Sophia Webster. I really want to grab some more of their shoes. They're kind of like not a ridiculously expensive designer, but obviously not like well priced as High Street, but a little bit. I don't know, just a in the middle kind of designer, but they're really nice and they're really, really, really good quality. And I love the rainbow gems, of course. I think, do you know what? I feel like these are a staple boot in people's wardrobes, but I can't find them in my outfits. They just don't work on me. I don't know what it is. I feel like they look so cute on people and I keep them every single year. These are like four years old. I keep them every year thinking I will wear, okay, thanks Bluebell. You just stood right in the lens. I keep thinking one day I will wear them because they're kind of like something you could just throw on. But I know I will always reach for these first. So I think these may go on Depop, I'm thinking. Right, so the wardrobe is clear and it needs a clean. So I'm gonna give it a clean. I'm gonna pop everything back in that I'm gonna keep. And then I think I might start on my tops and my jeans, but I'm slightly rushing, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it with you yet. I shall let you know in a bit. I love you, I give you everything basically done i've kind of organized it a little bit in my mind basically a bit of a weird way of coordinating i'd love to color coordinate but i know it's just not gonna happen <laughs> basically all the summer stuff is actually in the middle so i've put i put jumpers on this side and i basically did it so that it was easiest to grab the ones i like the most so the ones i like the most and the wintry ones are on this side so near the edge and then in the middle we've got some more summery vibe and then with the same with the jumpsuit and the dresses this side is all like wintry i think i'm gonna wear soon and then in the middle is more you know play suity summer vibes like that one so i'm a bit out of breath but i think we're mainly there with this wardrobe the shoes are looking much better down there. I feel like it's quite therapeutic when you do things like this. I always dread it, but it's therapeutic and I'm glad. So I actually don't think I have time to do the rest now because I need to take Pop to the vets. Let me just quickly show you her. She is currently hiding, I think, in Niall's wardrobe again, which is a bit sad and she's gonna be not happy with me bringing her out and putting her in a little cage to go but i'm just a bit i don't know how even to bring her without hurting her hop we need to go to the vets now oh i feel so bad let me put you down so i can get her out and put her in a blanket hang on oh here she is i'll keep you warm wrap you in that there you go <laughs> people try to steal the show 
Here she is. Oh, look, your sister's come to come and say, are you okay? Oh, they're so cute. She's not herself, is she blue? It's her other ear, it's just, oh look, oh look, her eyes. And I think her eye is kind of a bit swollen. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping the vets will make her better. Don't you too, Blue. Look, she's guarding her. Oh, they're so cute. Good morning, everybody. It is now Friday. I almost pressed my horn then. That would have been very embarrassing. <laughs> it's Friday, and we are in the car waiting for Niall currently because he's actually a little bit hungover, so he's just a little bit slow today. But basically we are going on another vet trip we've got a little blue here today instead you can't see because my phone's completely covering it we need to go and get bluebells jabs because it has been a year since her first little booster so that does also mean it's been a year since we picked bluebell up which is rather cute do you want to come on my lap we're chatting about you we need you in it <laughs> so um yes i think she's very excited it's an early morning walk, early morning vet. She doesn't know about the vet, but it's gonna be all right. And then I think we're gonna go for a walk in our favorite park, actually, which I haven't brought you to yet. And I don't really know why, but it's our favorite one. It's a big old Wimbledon Common, and there's lots of forest, lots of autumnal vibes. It's lovely, so it's Bluebell's favorite one, I think. I know I say that about everywhere I take Bluebell, but I think this one actually is because she actually goes crazy and runs around the trees, chases the squirrels, doesn't catch them though, don't worry. <laughs> and yeah, she just lives her best life basically. And then for the rest of the day, I do have some other filming to do later, which is why I started my vlog yesterday instead of today only because I'm going to be rushing about a bit today. I've got quite a lot of work to do, but it's Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> because it has actually been quite a, it's been quite a, a meh week for me. I don't know what it was, but I had a few dodgy days at the start. But it's all right, because it's Friday and we're gonna have a lovely chilled weekend. Me and Blue hanging out. I'm a bit sleepy today. I've got a bit of a sleepy brain. It's very early, but we are just currently waiting for Niall. Oh, also, I just wanted to quickly show you this lovely necklace. So a jeweler, a jeweler, do you call it a jeweler? A jewelry brand, jewelry brand. A jewelry brand called Daniela Draper. Very, very, very kindly sent me this lovely alphabet necklace. And it says my name, which is very exciting. But I just think it's very chic and it goes well with the starry necklace. I feel like maybe I need one more kind of just single. I used to have a moon, but I lost it on my surprise party. I have a bit too many gins, you know? <laughs> I don't know what happened to the necklace, but um, I think I need one more. And then I've got kind of like a stack. But I'm just a bit worried they're all gonna tangle and get a bit on the naughty side of life. So you have to watch that, but it's lovely. So thank you so much to Daniela Draper for this. I will link them below. They also have some lovely, just kind of like gem jewelry and it's just quite special. Quite special, but delicate and nice. Love it, love it. Anyway, no, I'm really enjoying the radio at the moment in the car because I feel like someone's chatting to me. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of the idea in the radio, but I'm rather liking Capital. I don't know whether that's like not a thing, but I'm quite liking Capital with Roman Kemp. Roman Kemp? Roman Kemp? Roman Kemp. That's the one. <laughs> he just does a little chat to me and I, I feel when I'm on my own in the car, I feel a bit kind of, I feel joined. I've got company. Don't we, Blue? We like him. Had her jab. She was a very good girl, weren't you, Blue? Good now we're going to go for a walk. But first, going to try and find a Starbucks because I want to try a pumpkin spice latte, and I'm going to see if Nia will try it too. Because apparently, it tastes like autumn in a cup. I don't know. If I want one. <laughs> Why? It's just a latte with pumpkin flavors and Christmas flavors. It'll make you feel like a Christmas man. I like proper coffee. <laughs> on a coffee. Friday morn. I don't like really sugary ones. Oh, I do. I like a sugary, milky. That's what I like. We have arrived at Wimbledon Common. It is looking rather glorious. I can't see right now. We haven't got into the forest yet. We just parked the car, but I got a pumpkin spice latte. Unfortunately, the cream has dissolved into the coffee now. It was looking very pretty on top, but I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to drink it whilst on our walk. So, it's the 
I would have tried. I didn't get one. No, Niall, Niall chickened out. <laughs> I didn't know what to say then. Stuck to the iced Americano. It's Christmassy. Taste it. I actually really like that. It's got a very spicy vibe, but it's nice. Taste it. What do you think? Are you jealous of my spice latte? Yeah. Pumpkin spice and everything, nice. I highly recommend. What did you I'm say? Just... What did you just say? Pumpkin. I'm not in focus. Hang on. Pumpkin spice. The camera doesn't know me. <laughs> there we go. Pumpkin spice and everything, nice. Is that a saying? That's what our pillow says on our bed. It takes a lot of interest How in my home decor. Some of the pillows. There's too many. <laughs> <laughs> Read the one pillow on our bed. So this is the forest. Let me show you. This is the beginning of the wonderful forest. Chilly today, isn't it? This I was in by myself on Monday, and I, I actually spoke about this. <laughs> Where she off. runs down the hill. <laughs> She's like a little lamb. I was in this forest by myself because you didn't come, mm -hmm. and it was getting a bit dark and it was getting a bit creepy. This is prime horror film location isn't it? Yeah. But I love it. It is very natural and it's not like an excursion of a walking destination yet is it? Spot the bluebell. It's a cri- oh there's a squirrel I thought that was blue. Oh here she is. Oh oh she's going again. <laughs> Bluey come on go this way. She keeps chasing the birds away. Poor birds. There she is. Hello. Oh she's so happy. Look at her leaping about like a little lamb. Look how pretty this bit is. We've never actually come down to this bit. Wimbledon Common is absolutely ginormous, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know this existed. It's so pretty and it's such a nice day. It is, if I can turn you around, it is a crisp autumnal Friday morning. I love autumn. It's like, People think that of it just as grey and dull, but it's actually not. There's lots of sunny days in there too, and it's just got that chill in the air. It's like you can enjoy the sun a bit more because you're not too hot. You get nice and cosy with a pumpkin spice. <laughs> There's a duck fight going on over there. They were distracting me when I was trying to talk then. Bluebell's left. We should find her. Bluebell. <laughs> Bluebell. Um, Come on. Yeah, it's all about the pumpkin spice lattes, the teddy bear coats, Bluebell. and. Come here. The crisp walks in the morn, you know? Look at these ducks hanging out. They are just loving life. Look at that, look at that. My God, I feel like I'm in a film. <laughs> Stop taking the mick out of me. The mick. I didn't know when to say piss. Go on, say it. Piss. <laughs> piss. Piss. Stop it. We don't swear on those videos. Piss, piss, piss. <laughs> well, back to my story. The leaves are actually falling from the trees, which is so autumnal. Mm. I'm loving, I love Wimbledon Common, it's my favourite place, well, <laughs> talk, <Yeah. laughs> not my favourite place in the New world. New York, been to Bali, <laughs> no, Wimbledon Common is my <laughs> Do you ever go on a long walk in a forest where there's only nature and need a wee? Because I do and I really need a wee. What? <laughs> Just saying. You're going to have a piss in the bushes. Stop saying that word on my vlog. <laughs> That's not even really like a swear word, is it? If it's not a nice word, it's a bit like one of those scabby words. The scabby. I don't like that word either. Yeah, I don't really want to go in the bush. But <laughs> is that what you're talking about? You're yeah. pissing in the bush. Stop saying we is the right word. You're having a whiz. You're gonna have a, <laughs> you're gonna have a slash. <laughs> one as well. Right, we are back from our walk. I'm currently sat here having some lunch, but I was mid-eating and I thought, actually, I quite want to show you what I'm eating. Basically, Niall just made me some chicken tikka mango kebabs 
and they are absolutely delicious. I've put some rice with it as well. And um, he actually is gonna be having a recipe put up on his Instagram, a little one minute clip recipe that he does. So I'll link, actually his Instagram's always linked down below, but it is absolutely glorious. And I am not a curry kind of girl, but this is lovely. But yes, anyway, I just wanted to tell you quickly. Oh, oh, here he is, peach man. <laughs> Just, I'm just giving you compliments on your food. I said it's glorious. Anyway, I, yeah, I'm just currently eating and we've actually been back for a while. I filmed a Pretty Little Thing haul, which I'm gonna show you some of the bits actually in a bit. Me and Niall are gonna go out for a glass of wine this evening. Very sophisticated. And basically I just wanna dress up. You know when you just feel like dressing up? It's one of them and I just feel like having a glass of wine Friday evening, glass of wine, you know, so we're gonna get ready and I'll show you some of the bits in a bit But first I am gonna go to the gym once this is digested and I think I'm gonna bring you along It's gonna be a quick one though, like a very quick one lower body Quick one gonna bring you see you there <laughs> everybody it is now a bit later I feel like this vlog's been a little bit sporadic but we can't help that sometimes so I've ba I'm back from the gym I've just had a quick body shower and I am gonna get ready now to go for a glass of wine with Niall I'm thinking so I think I'm not going to like chat with you while I get ready because I I don't know I'm just rushing a little bit so you know I don't want to get too much into a blap but workout was good very quick though it was a 45 minute but it was a good one that circuit at the end was an absolute killer on the old leg boot absolute killer and i feel like it was a friday evening uh, well friday afternoon evening and i just wanted something quick get the burns on get the sweats in and we're all all right i'm gonna quickly get ready and pop you on the side i think I'm thinking we might go quite glam tonight. I know it's just a glass of wine, but I think we've got in mind quite a nice little sophisticated wine bar -y thing. So we're gonna go glam. I just feel like I wanna dress up basically, so I'm gonna. So I was just gonna quickly show you a couple of bits from the PLT haul. Not too much, because the PLT haul is gonna be up after this vlog so I don't want to show you everything because obviously it's all going to be in the hall but one of the things I think I'm going to wear tonight so this is the golden this is a, a golden it's very sheer but it's supposed to be so it's like a golden sheer but glitzy jumpsuit and it's got a wide leg it's got a cinchy waist it's a bit fab it's from um, the new Ashley Graham collab with Pretty Little Thing and I'm loving it absolutely loving it I mean, we do need to get something underneath, otherwise there will be a nipple or three. Well, not three. We don't have three <laughs> nipples. A nipple or two out and about. So 
I'm gonna have to, well actually, the thing is I need boob tape, but I don't have any boob tape. We're a little bit, little bit stuck, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure something out. And I'm thinking I might match my eye with this. And now, if you know me, I'm not the greatest on the old eye makeup, but I'm gonna attempt. It's gonna be all right. I'll show you when it's all done. Also, let me just show you, um, where, I put everything away now. What else can I show you that was in the hall? It was a little bit exciting. There was a very exciting coat in there, but that's in the other room. So let me see. Oh, let's show you this actually. This is another favorite from the hall. This is like a teddy jacket. I am loving it. I've just got stuff on it because it was on the floor. <laughs> um, but okay, this is not doing it justice. It's kind of just like a big oversized teddy jacket though. Look at that, loving it. And also, while we're here, this one, it is lovely. It's like a, it's like an oversized but cropped cable knit white jumper, which I think is like the key to an autumnal jumper. Well, not the key, but it's like the staple autumn jumper, the white cable. You know, one of them, loving it. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you anything more because it is gonna be in the next video but it was a very good haul, a very winter autumn-y, so that will be up next, but I'm gonna get on with my makeup. I'm gonna put a bit of a wave in the old hair. I didn't wash it because I need it to have some oomph to it, because when it's washed, it's a little bit too kind of slinky and thin and not great. So we're just gonna get a little wave in, get a bit of a, gl hopefully slight glitter to the eye. I don't wanna risk it, but we're gonna try and I shall be back and I'll show you whatever I've done to myself. <laughs> So, this is the vibe we are going for. I think we have managed to cover the areas we needed to cover. However, I still wish I had boob tape, but I don't, so we're just gonna deal. I'm looking very fancy for a glass of wine, but I don't mind. So, you can't really see, yeah, now you can see up close what, like, shimmer is, which is lovely. I am loving it. Very much so. So. I'm gonna pop some heels with it and wait for Niall to come home and then we're gonna go and have a little old date night and I'm very excited. Let me show you my makeup. So I kind of went for quite an au natural because I can't do anything else. But um, this is just the makeup I like to do. So I have slightly gone for the goldy shimmery eye to match me. Oh look, you can see it a little bit better here. Let me just show you actually which one I like. Because I have tried my way through a lot of eyeshadows. A lot of them I find are very difficult to use. I mean, if you're a bit of a rookie like me, this palette by Tarte actually is very good. Now, I usually just use this as a mirror. And the other day, I saw the little sparkly. And I thought, you know what? Let's just try. I use my bronzer as, like, the base. And then I use this goldy shimmer around this area. And I like this one because it's very easy to apply. I use this one at the top. Because it just kind of, it doesn't stick to one place. I can't stand it when I put an eyeshadow on and it goes blotchy on my eye. I know that is because I'm not the greatest at applying, but they could make it easier for rookies. <laughs> so this one is very, very easy to use, and my bronzer. And it's just a little combo that I'm liking at the moment. I think, I hope you can see right now because I don't know what you can see, but there's no other way I can show you than just to shut my eyes. <laughs> I'm loving it. I've also got some Charlotte Tilbury lip stick on. What colour is this? Bitch, please. <laughs> I think it's that one. And just my usual makeup. I think I actually might finish this little video here. I feel like it might be quite long because of the clear out yesterday. I'm not sure. I can't gauge how long it might be yet, but... I'm not gonna bring you on our date night because I think I'm gonna have a nice little glass of wine. There's not much to show you on a date night with a glass of wine anyway, so you can only really see what wine I have and it will be a white Sauvignon Blanc, hopefully from New Zealand. So that's what we're gonna have. <laughs> and yes, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this video, Pop's down here actually. Oh, little sore old Pop, here she is. Oh, Pop. She looks worse on camera than she actually does in real life, Pop. Can you look up? 
It looks like your, one of your eyes is shut. Oh, she's been sleeping all day. Pop's on the road to recovery. She's a little bit less swollen up here on her eye. Yesterday she had a big bulge ab above this eye here, but it's gone down a little bit and she had a big bulge here. Sorry, I'm speaking in your ear. <laughs> she seems like she's getting there. She's not in as much pain. When she shakes her ear, she doesn't yelp like she did yesterday. So I think the painkillers and the antibiotics from the vet have helped. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will hopefully see you in the next video, which is my PLT haul. And this little guy's in it and lots of other good ones are in it, I promise. So I think it's going to be a good day. What about you, Pop? Hopefully Pop will be on the mend. I'll keep you updated on my vlogs. <laughs> and then, yeah, there'll be more vlogs next week. And then we've got Canada. We're going to Canada with Gymshark on the 13th and the 14th. There's the pop-up shop in Toronto, which will be exciting. And I'm going to be vlogging my week, so I'm going to be there for a week. So it's going to be a good day. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you then.